Okay, after all of our hilarious uh, laughter, that gets the tensions gone, doesn't it? Our, uh, this is a Wednesday night channeling, number 163, since we started channeling again. Our title tonight is called New Beginnings. And um, the writing starts out, says, each moment is a new beginning. Do you know that you decide moment by moment what you think, how you feel, your attitude, mood, desires? You do make a new beginning each moment. What will you do with your next moment? Will you allow your thoughts to drift away and be caught up in the negative race thought of your plane? Or will you remain consciously aware of what you are allowing into your mind? Yours is the choice to make your life as you will. Know it or not, your thoughts do mold and shape your life as it is. Much of your thoughts are subconscious or unconscious. Some of your moods, excuse me, that's not, some of you wonder why you do not move faster in your soul's growth. The answer is It, excuse me, I've written it wrong. The answer is you do not see yourself clearly. You are not aware of your overall picture of your thought patterns. When you become aware, then you work, the work begins to change the destructive patterns into constructive ones. When you live only on the physical five-sense world, reason and logic, it is not possible to see clearly the real truth of what you are and what you are doing to yourself, because you are seeing less than 2% of yourself and life. You must learn to see clearly through the inner all-seeing eye. We did a decent story, but um, you don't deal with it. I feel like this is Gadan tonight. Yes, good evening, friends. This is Gadon coming to you from these realms of love and light. It is indeed a pleasure to be with you, to be your doorkeeper, and it is my pleasure again to bring the message to you tonight. But I want you to use your inner image and see a higher teacher above me, and a higher teacher above that, and a higher teacher above that, and so on, that is coming straight from the God hand. As it comes down into the many dimensions to your level and into your language, it comes down not as clear as it started from the top, but you do understand this, and with your understanding, that 
makes it a little different also because each one of you are different. So each one of you are hearing something different than the other one. And this is what makes life interesting. Our title tonight is an interesting title because each moment is a new beginning for you. And we used the, mo the word moment in thinking of time, but in the, your language, moment means no time. Am I correct? I hear no response. Is that correct uh, to say that moment needs, means no time? Means the present. Yes. So each present moment, to make it clear in your language, you are deciding how you will feel, how you will think. And remember, all of these different things come under the heading of thought. And remember that the life force works through the mind, the channel of the mind, and the prism of thought. And you do choose the thoughts. You have the freedom to think as you will, to feel as you will. You have the freedom to be sick, or you have the freedom to be well. You have the freedom to be happy or t to be sad. And, my dear ones, indeed it is the thoughts that make you happy or sad. Uh, physically well, or mentally uh, well, or rich or poor, or whatever. It is indeed your thoughts. And if you can once realize this to the fullest extent and understand how important it is for you to have conscious control of your thoughts, then you would do much more of your grow work at home because you would understand how important, how really important it is to be the master of yourself. To be the master of yourself gives you the master of your world and your universe. To be the master of your thoughts, all of your thoughts, and having your subconscious and conscious mind working together with the door open to the superconscious opens you up to the higher self and to the whole universe and all of life. This is literally true. And I would have you to know this. I would have you to understand it. And I would have you to realize it, to make it real in your consciousness, in your thoughts, in your understanding. There's nothing more important in your life on this plane than being the master of yourself. This is soul's growth. To have full control of your mind, emotions, your thoughts, your physical body, conscious control gives you the ability to be a master and this you are working towards, and some of you have come a long way in the last few years, and some of you have come a long way in the last few months, and you are all moving toward your goal. It is up to you. We do not say to you, you must be uh, perfect in a certain length of time because we don't deal in time. We deal in consciousness. And it is your level of consciousness that makes you what you are. It is, if, is as if you came into ten lifetimes and made no spiritual progress. The time has no meaning whatsoever. In true reality, there is no time. 
but as you think of time, that uh, experiences that you have in those ten lifetimes have no meaning in your overall soul's growth. And that's what life is all about, is moving forward, expanding your consciousness, moving higher in your understanding, growing. And sometimes on this plane, you get trapped into trying to stand still and you cannot stand still. This is something that most people do not realize. You cannot ride the fence. You're either going forward or you're going backward. There is no standing still. Life does not stand still. Life is in constant motion, just as energy is in constant motion. And energy in your thoughts and words is another uh, thing, word for life. It is in constant motion and constantly expanding and bursting into more of itself. And when you try to stand still, then you go backward because you fall back into the old ruts. You fall back into the race thought of the planet and the planet is a very negative planet, as you know. It is moving forward in some places and in, in, in individuals, but there are many individuals that are going in the wrong direction, and they are projecting these thoughts and feelings, and these hatred thoughts, these fear thoughts, into the ethers, and it causes a dark cloud of negative thoughts that cover this planet. And you're right in the middle of it. And when you drop your, your thoughts to try to coast, your mind goes back to the old patterns. And so you open the door and with one negative thought Think of yourself, as Elowa has given the example, as an island of light. And as long as you think positive, loving thoughts, the light is pure and bright, but let one negative thought into your mind, and that gives a chink in your armor, and in comes that negative thoughts and brings all of its cousins. And there you go. And it takes a little while for you to even see that this has happened sometimes. And then it takes a while longer for you to get it turned around. This is uh, maybe a hard lesson for you tonight, but it is a lesson that you have heard many times and that you know to be true but you do need to be reminded. You do need to be reminded of who you are because I tell you the Aquarian age, the new age, the golden age is here and now and you can see it working in your world. Many things are happening on your planet. Many, many things are going on. If you watch your news at all, you see that the world is changing rapidly. Some of it for the better and some of it for not so good. But it is cleansing itself. This planet is getting ready to move up into Christ consciousness and it is cleansing itself. And when this dark cloud of negative thoughts becomes too intense. It even controls your weather and causes all these storms and a lot of destruction. This is the fruit of your thinking. And this is why we come back to this thing 
called thought continually again and again, for it is the thing on your plane that makes the difference in what your life is, and it can make a difference in your adding to the problems of the world or adding to the answer. Tonight sounds like a preacher to you, maybe, huh? Yes. Uh, it, there's a lot of power flowing through. As I uh, described this, uh, that opened the door for a lot of power to come from the top all the way through. And so it opened things up. And I may be sounding a little bit... Uh, harsh to you, but I do not intend to. All of these things I say to you in God's beautiful love. There are times when we need to awaken, and it's like shaking you by the shoulders and saying, wake up, wake up, see what you're doing, see what's happening, be aware. Do not sleepwalk. Most people on this plane are walking around hypnotized and asleep. And they just get by from uh, time to time and they don't have the least idea about what life is all about. You, my dear ones, do. You are open and you are here, and this is why you are here, is because you are open, and you are the ones that we have to work with. The others are not ready. They will be ready because the vibrations on this planet are getting higher every day, and they'll either be ready or they will go to another planet or another dimension to go on with their work and move into a higher consciousness in different ways. But you of this planet have a great, great opportunity, and I want to impress this on your thoughts. Your opportunity is unparalleled to the history of this planet. This is the most opportune time to be in the physical since this planet has been formed. This is the time when your son and two other sons will all be lined up and be hitting the planet. The power of these sons will be hitting this planet. This will be a thousand years before, or more maybe, before this completely is in alignment. But it is coming about and some of it is happening now. You see, it started happening maybe a hundred years ago, just a little, when your technology started improving and you uh, stopped uh, with the hand plow behind the horse and started building tractors and cotton shins and things like this. This was the influence of the Aquarian age coming in. And man in his thinking from the physical plane thinks in physical ways for the most part. And so your technology, physical technology, has come a long way. And this has happened many, many, many times since your planet has been peopled. This time, it is hoped that your spiritual growth will keep abreast of your physical technology so that you do not destroy your civilization again as it has been done so many times, many more times than you think. It is possible for you to be lifted up with this planet and and have such a glorious experience that you cannot even imagine. And this is why we keep reminding you, we keep impressing on you 
the things that are important. There are a lot of things that we could tell you about the cosmos, the universe, everything that uh, is would be astounding to you. And we do at times, but the most important thing is for you to know who you are and to awaken to this and become in consciousness the God being that you already are. Now you're playing a role on this play called Earth, on this plane of illusion, and that's what you came here for, is to play this role. And do not uh, be concerned about that. It's not what role that you play, but how you play the role that makes a difference. It's how you think about it. It's how you feel about it. It's your attitude, your mood, your desires, all of these things. See, everyone has their little niche to fit into. And some people wish that they were the president of the United States or, or somebody famous or a movie star, but that is not important, my dear ones. I have. Some of the times, those who are most famous grow the least because temptation to fall out of grace with themselves is much greater. It is much better that you who know the truth work with yourself. Be not concerned about others. Help others when you can if they ask for it and if they're open. But you work with you because then you can be an example and you can be a light into the world. You can be a master in this incarnation. Now to some of you, this may sound outlandish, it may sound untrue, but I tell you it is not. You are not very far. Some of you are very, not very far at all from becoming a full master. And really, all that you would need to do is what you were first taught to do when you first came to the first class at the center, is to assume the role. Assume the role. You see, you're playing a role now. You're playing a role of whatever you're doing, and the role that you're playing, you're doing it this way or that way, and you're feeling this way or that way, and you're thinking this way or that way about it. Well, when you know the truth, when you really understand that life is so, so much more than the 2% of this physical world, and that there's so much more out there, or I should say, in there, for you to experience, then you will open your eyes a little wider and you will start opening that inner eye and knowing who you are and waking up to the beautiful God spiritual being that you are and not being concerned about what happens on this plane. It's all the illusion anyway and there is no death. Yes, a lot of people have been killed lately in the storms, as, you, as they think, but there is no death. This is just karmic outworking. And whatever happens in your life is the same thing as a karmic outworking. Now, whenever you decide that you don't want to play the game of karma anymore, then can you assume the role of a master and lay down 
these big burdens that you've taken upon yourself because they're illusion anyway. Did you hear this? All this karmic thing, these big burdens of karma. They are illusion. There is no good or evil. There is no duality. There is only life. There is only God. And there's only one life. And all of us are different expressions of this one life. And no one holds anything against you for whatever experiences that you've had in the past except you. Believe this or not, it is true. And if someone does hold it against you, that is their problem. Yes, I can see your thoughts and uh, many varied situations where you may have harmed someone you thought and, uh, and they had a right to hold something against you. But remember, my dear ones, everyone creates their own reality. And it has nothing to do with anyone else, really. Your life is between you and God that dwells within you and no one else. Now you can share your life with others and you can share God's love with others. And when you learn to love as God loves, then you can love each other. But you first must learn to love yourself. And as you learn to love yourself by laying down all this guilt trip you put on yourself and start thinking of yourself as a God being and knowing that you are, and you, but you don't have to go out and tell the world about this. They're not going to accept it. They're going to lock you up probably. <laughs> But if you know it, that's what counts. If you know it. How can we deliver this message to you where you can comprehend it, accept it, and act upon it? Let us leave that a question and a question time, period, uh, for now. I think we have thrown enough at you uh, for this time and let you speak and speak your uh, concerns, our disagreements, our questions, or whatever. And feel free to say whatever you feel and think. But please don't everyone speak at the same time. And does uh, consumption of food or nutrients uh, have a major bearing in the clarity of our inner guidance and awareness? Well, if you were to take strict iron, why it would be, it would probably uh, <coughs> eliminate you from this plane. Uh, but normal food, when you have control of your thoughts, you see, the food that you eat uh, nourishes your physical body. But if you think carrots, are the best thing in the world and that's all you eat, you're going to be lacking a little something else, aren't you? Right. And, and if you think that beef is terrible and that all these other things are terrible, you're, you're going to soon run out of anything to eat. 
So we have so many preservatives and things in, in prepared foods. And, but you uh, see, you are a spiritual being, and your mind interpenetrates all of your bodies, and your spirit interpenetrates all of your mind. So your spirit is all-powerful and all-wise. And as the Master Teacher said, it's not what goeth into the mouth that defileth the body, but it's what proceedeth forth from the mouth. And from the heart. Yes. Yes, Tyler, you said. I'm good. You've got to masticate that food. You've got to eat it. The, the, the thing is that I was eating like a hound dog and taking a whole meal in about five minutes. And I have changed just the last few days and, and insisted that a meal lasts me for 20 minutes. And I chew that food and it makes a terrific difference in my feeling and in the lightness of my body. And how, how does it do with your thoughts? Your thoughts, you've got to put God first. Yes. You see, this is what is most important. It's not whether you think how well you chew your food or what food that you eat. It's, that is not that important. There is, you, you eat within reason, and you know that you don't take strychnine or some other poison, but it is how you think about it that makes the difference. If you think that you're going to have indigestion, you're going to have indigestion. Yes. If you think that you're going to be sick, you'll be sick. You see, you are a co-creator with God. And God, the life force, works through the mind of the prism of thought. And your thoughts do create. And if you can get that into your mind and be, quit being so concerned about these other things that are a little important, but they're not that important. So many people in your circles become vegetarians or something, and they, that's their whole spiritual life. And they don't uh, do anything else. But they think that will do it all. See, that has nothing to do with anything but your physical body. You should take care of your body. You should eat the right amount of foods. And you should eat foods in a balanced way. Because that's the way you've been taught, isn't it? And that's the way that you believe. Now, when you become a master, you don't even have to eat. That ought to be better. <laughs> you know, we, yes, it would, wouldn't it? And you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to labor so hard. I have a car either, right? You that. Yes. So you see, this is what we're working toward. And the other things are incidental. You have to deal with them, yes, while you, between the time now and the time that you become a master. But the important message that we bring to you is not about food, not about the material things, but about your spiritual life. That's what we're interested in, and how to help you to overcome this world of illusion, to rise above it and be free of it, and to eliminate your physical body and not have to come back into this cumbersome uh, physical body that you have. The bodies that on the other dimension are so much better, my dear ones, and the higher you go, the more beautiful and lighter and brighter your consciousness is and it's just undescribable in your language and you would not know what it was like until you experience it but you have experienced it in the past 
It is in your memory banks. You have all come out of the Godhead and come down to the lowest point and gone back many times. So you do know what it is to be master of yourself on this plane. And when we talk about being a master, we talk about being a master on each plane. When you become a master here, then you go to the next dimension and start working on becoming a master of that dimension. Just like in your school, you study to pass the test from the first grade and the second grade and so on. Are there other questions this evening? Yes, I have a question. When you will start having um, negative and destructive thoughts about a particular saying, um, I know we've been taught to send love to it and um, ask God to cleanse, cleanse us of all past nation. Does that um, cancel them out and then you can have a new beginning again? Oh, yes. Yes, you have a new beginning, definitely. You can cancel your whole past if you ask. All you need to do is just lay down your past. But you see where your hang-ups are is in your memory banks, as your teacher has taught you. And that's why you come to class here, is to eliminate those uh, memories of the past that keep hanging on to you that are illusion, that are not really true, but you have given them the power of your belief. And so to your physical consciousness, they are true. And they hold you down to this physical plane. Yes, do uh, send love into each negative thought and make a new beginning and think of it as a new beginning and say, I'm the master of this body and this mind and I insist on it doing as I say because you are and you will have to be stern at times but do learn to love yourself, all of yourself. Love is the key to all things. Love opens all the doors. Love heals any ills. Love will make you a master. Enough love. Unconditional love. Are there other questions this evening? Yes, you were talking about seeing ourselves as an island of light. Yes. And controlling our thinking. And that will relent in the negative, destructive thought with the chink in the armor. As I am still under law karma, me personally. When I let in the negative thought, I seem to suffer the consequences much harder now than I did in the past. Yes. That was my perception true? Your, your um, a common thought about this is quick karma. As you grow, in consciousness higher in your spiritual growth, you do not want to accumulate any more karma. Through many lifetimes, you have crossed over with unfinished business, you might say, of things that you have not resolved, misunderstandings about life that you have not resolved in, in your consciousness. And so those carry over and as you grow in consciousness and get close to the end of your karmic indebtedness, you make a pact with yourself that 
you will not allow this to accumulate anymore, and so it comes right back to you. Do you understand? Yes, thank you very much. Uh -huh. And this is a good thing when you have the ability to understand it and you don't blame somebody else for your problems. You realize that you have created this and it's come back and hit you right in the nose and that you can do something about it right now. Change your thinking, change your consciousness. Are there other questions this evening? A little bit off the subject, but I invited several ones to be in our circle tonight. I don't know whether they're here or not. Some might want to comment, but one of the are not. I would like to send unconditional love. Which dimension are you speaking of? Your. Yes. Yes, when you invite someone <coughs> uh, from our dimension, they are here. And uh, they, uh, you see, there is no such thing as time or space. And we are not bound by this. And they can be here and be somewhere else too in your framework of understanding. So any time that you ask someone to be with you, uh, you can be assured that their presence is here. And yet they may be several other places too. This is being the master of time and space because there is no time or space. And uh, when you understand this, then you're not bound by it. But as long as you believe in it, then you are bound by it. You see, you had to come to class tonight at 7.30, and that's your belief. Uh, when on these dimensions, when we get together for a special gathering, the thought goes out and we just all get together. And everyone gets the thought and we have uh, a beautiful experience, entertainment sometimes, or uh, one of the very high teachers giving us some lessons. There, we are always learning as you are learning. There is no place to stop learning. Thank you. We can be in several places. Yes, you can. You can be in several places with your thought right now because you can send God's love to several places and your thoughts go with it and life force follows thought and when you send God's love with it, you have the power of the universe going with it. It is a matter of adjusting your understanding and eliminating the illusions of this physical plane and being willing to give them up. Scientists, for example, have to work with physical facts and it is difficult for them to understand or even think about metaphysical things because their whole time is spent in proving things with the five sense world. And that's what they came to do, and that's fine. But you are learning to understand that there's much more than just this 2% of life, and that we are not bound by this very small little speck in the universe.
Are there other questions this evening? There is much love here for you tonight. There are many of your loved ones that you have, are not consciously aware of in this incarnation that are here with you. And your teachers and guides are here. And open your mind to them by sending God's love to all of the invisibles uh, uh, has become a slang saying around you and when you do this you see if they are of not such a light being then God's love brightens up everything and they cannot stand the light and have to leave and if they are your teachers and guides then that helps them to come in and open, you have opened the door for them to come in and give you more understanding and help you in whatever way that you need help. Do this often through the day. Remember to do it. And remember those in darkness too. There are many, many, many who are on the dark grounds. They will all someday, in your thoughts, of time reach the light but they could use your help right now and every time you send love it automatically helps you are there other questions this evening Let us think a moment about energy. Let us think about life force. Let us think about God's love. Let us think about what keeps your heart beating and your blood flowing. We're talking about just one thing and that is God's love, life force, that is the substance of all that is. Everything that is is created out of God himself, and God is love. And when you remember to use love more in your life, everything works out much better for you. When you remember to love yourself and to, if you slip and make a so-called mistake, do not feel guilty or condemn yourself. Just send God's love into it and cancel it out and go on about your way and keep loving yourself. You have been conditioned and programmed to feel guilty and to punish yourself and your subconscious is still doing this to you because there is not one in this room who has completely re-educated your subconscious to realize that it does not have to punish you for things that you have been programmed that are bad, 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 or evil, or whatever, the word that you want to use. You have work to do with yourself. You have work to do with understanding life and bringing it into your consciousness. And as you learn to go within more, instead of trying to reach outward for understanding then do you learn then do you know then can you be whatever you want to be it does not come from outside of you it comes from within you 
every word that has been spoken tonight seems to be something from outside of you. But remember in your class that said all suggestion is self-suggestion. And in a, in a sense, these are suggestions given to you. If you accept them, it happens inside of you, not outside of you. And so if you hear the truth and get some benefit from it, you have allowed it to happen in your consciousness that dwells within you. So remember that everything comes from above down or from within out. Everything that is worthwhile is already inside of you. The things in the physical world are illusion. They're constantly changing. And the doctors uh, about different diseases are constantly changing their mind about what causes them and what is better for them. And uh, scientists and so on. So the reality of being is within. And this is difficult for you to understand because you have been conditioned about time and space. But if you can give up this concept of time and space and realize that 98% or more of life is within. <coughs> Are there any other questions this evening? It's just a statement, I think, that kind of fits with what you're saying, and I'm wondering if there, you might have a reaction to it. More or less what I guess I've heard you say from one aspect is that, um, again, it's a biblical, in a sense, uh, quotation. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all else shall be given unto you. And in essence, you're saying work within the spiritual realm of your being, and everything else will fall into play. Yes, uh, and your physical life will be easy because you will be working from the source instead of the end result or the effects, you see. You'll be going directly to the source. When you find the kingdom of God, it is within you, and you will be working from the source of all that is. And you will get the real thing instead of some red plastic beads. You'll get the real pearls. Thank the pearls of wisdom, yes. This has been a beautiful class tonight and it has been another basic class in a sense. We need these reminders, and I know that you like to get into the far out things now and then, but remember that until you learn to add and subtract, you cannot divide and multiply. And then it, it is urgent in a sense because the in your thinking of time, it is growing short. If you will think of the last few years of how many things have happened on your planet and how things have speeded up rapidly, in fact, they are accelerating, then you know that you need to get your house in order so that you can be a part of the answer instead of the problem. There's much love here for you this evening. Feel it. Be open for it. God bless each one of you. And good night. Thank you. Thank you.
I look like Stark in here. Amen. It's an excellent question. You ask question. Oh. Do you know the verse? Oh. Uh, Good. Not that much of a book. Well, that's what I'm I know the book. I don't think we've much about anything. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and all else shall be added unto you. Righteousness means the right usefulness of the law. I remember some of the things about 39. No, it's never I was driving. But now you see that behind the goalposts of every game. John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, oh God, that's all the reason I looked it up. God so loved the world. <laughs> That's behind all the Orthodox religion. Yes, yeah, so it's behind my ad son. It's behind the goalposts, is what I said. There's only and somebody holding it up. But... Oh, is it really? He was still as. I didn't know much. The ad I only saw the first one. I didn't throw it, my dad. Okay. No, no, I'm not as a bird of the fanatic. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's the Orthodox uh, magic wand business. And uh, you see, his only begotten Son is the Christ Spirit. Only Christ Spirit dwells in all of us. Jesus was eating corn in that garden for <laughs> one stood at three. What? I guess so. <laughs> Didn't that eat? Well, I thought he invited to know. I'd be most holy. <laughs> Seems like we're coming back down to earth here, house. The poem is a tape to make copies. Oh, two or three middle. I don't know, pull wood and wake that on. Of course, there's no such thing as kind of, you know, there's no So they're already. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what past, present, and future are you now? You better pay me. <laughs> Annabelle's gonna wait for her, is Archie. I think so. If I think they'll wait. <laughs> oh, it's good that we can laugh. Oh, this is a joyful, uh, joyous uh, crowd tonight. Started off with laughter. Huh? <laughs> There was joking going on. Yeah. Well, I missed cracking. some jokes. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they are. I don't want to miss anything. I think the dog bar was cheated. The day we were in the darn ground before I came in. Oh, you mean after? In the... In the, in the, in the uh, oh, in the communication. Well, uh, I'm... Uh, my jokes are so dry that nobody knows my joking, so I, <laughs> I don't expect them to laugh. Oh, should we stand with the hand? Let's think of ourselves coming together in the physical at the in spirit and bringing the spiritual light and love healing power from the higher realms as we join together in a circle of light. Let us fill this room with God's love spreading out over the city, covering this planet, and going out to the whole universe. Let us think of real beginnings this coming week and make many, many new beginnings. And resolve to be the God's being that we already are in touch. 
I can help. But I can't know. Oh, Well, the I will keep coming. I'm not sure I need you. Yeah, but you know, I said, we in power. I mean, I hate my I really will let it. I should it. I can do some eyes, they will work. I don't know about the fine that they will all. I guess, do I mean, I don't like to have a wings to get you guys in that game? Yeah, we're streaming. I never had one. I did my hair. I used to look like I didn't have a hiding gem, but I didn't have one. 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 Yeah, well, I'm definitely not. Then, if you're full of work, that's what it's for your people. Yeah, it. If you ain't all that people, for how I your own weakness and show you where you are the problem track into a certain one. That's what I'm here to help. I'm at the same time, I'm not going to do it. Oh, my God. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Huh? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Is it there? Oh, I have to take it. You have to bear on me to put it. I ain't going to tell you. Sorry to see you, but the light man had a hard across it. It's hard to be told. The other thing, but I can't keep you as bad. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Hey, yeah, well, I didn't stand there. And they began to stop. Here's no argument. He was scared of fraud. So at the moment, they get out of it. You really. You're like, it's better than I realized. That's good. I never hear the hair out of the dark. You are young enough. But, well, yeah, they can have it. And she will. I'm not going to believe you. Really. You can't visit anything she wants. You're jolly. I got it. I can't believe that that lyric's called. Hi. Oh, hi. Tell you. They're talking to me. I don't know. Oh, what do you think so? What the other story? I mean, the side of the club pay all the invites. What the? We did. Yes, smart you. I love it. I'm glad I'm putting it out. I'm hating it. Yeah, that feels. We still be out of bounds. I'm on a third year. I'm forced to carry on. My best year. I'm on a third year. I'm on a third year. I'm on a third year. Anyone have a third year? We've talked something out of the way, I don't know. And I'm already had the guy and shark. I'm burning the flesh, but I'm burning my window.